this is what it just came down to. I went upstairs for a little bit. And the mistake is always leaving Adeline out and down here by herself. This was my doing. Maybe. Maybe she tried to drink some of it. I don't know. But it was empty. This, however, was a jello pudding pa pudding pack that was already open partially and in this bag. And I walked down and it was all over her shirt. Like I could see it all over her face. She was eating it. It's all over the floor. Chase is looking at it right here. So anyways, I walked in to um, the kitchen. I said, oh my goodness, Adeline was over by the steps. And she said, what, what happened? <laughs> this kitchen was pretty yeah, clean. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna get this kitchen back in order because we're not gonna let this house get to messy mess again. It was a huge mess recently with Danielle, you know, being pregnant um, and not feeling well. So I've been taking care of the kids a lot. And so I've been tired and not being able to get as much cleaning done. Please don't look that, it's gross. The floors are gross. Um, anyways, so let me hop on this, get all this taken care of so we can um, have a good rest of the day. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. A place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand we'll... My friend Emily came over the night that we went to um, the hospital for the second time um, she cleaned up everything in here. It was amazing and it started getting a lot of control again So I figured if we just clean up You know the mess we make hey as it's being made, but <clears throat> sometimes you can't do that Especially with as many kids as we have it's hard to keep track of all of them and all the messes they're making at any given moment but Right now they're all upstairs. So if I could just pick up all this kitchen stuff It's maybe taking me 20 minutes or so to get this all done, um, to get it back in the, the condition it was when she left that night. And um, it just makes for a happy home. Here we go, here's what we got now. Oh! There's still a little mess, I didn't sleep in there, so there's still some stuff on the floor, but, but overall, it's looking good. And this kid is killing me. I'm hungry, she's saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. You know what, kid, lunchtime's very soon, so we'll eat lunch in just a second. And lastly, I decided to sleep in here because I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go halfway, like, or I'm, not, I'm, I'm more than halfway. I'm like, at the finish line, why am I gonna stop at the finish line whenever I could just continue cleaning? It took me two minutes, maybe three, to sweep the floor and get it back to a good looking shape. I mean, it's still kind of messy in here, guys. It's not perfect. The house is not spotless, but it's to a point where I'm happy, and I know Danielle will be happy to see it in the shape that it's in. See, look, would you be happy if your house looked like this? If the answer is no, then you can shut your mouth because no one wants to hear your negativity. No comments for you. Okay, you can comment if you want to, but come on. Give me a break. I'm trying my best here. The fish. No, it's not juice. It's, it's strawberry, strawberry jelly. Yeah. You're hope you look like an angel right now. Say hi. Hi. Tell hi. everyone where we are. Hi. Where are you? Yeah. We're at Chick Fil A. Yeah. Chick Fil A. See, so we're gonna get something, um, a little something for breakfast mommy, on our way too. See, mommy's going to see the midwife. <gasps> Tell him, say midwife. <laughs> you check on the baby in my tummy. <gasps> my baby. In my tummy. Sorry, my baby. Yeah, we're gonna go check on it. We're going to our first prenatal checkup. I'm 11 weeks and one day. And they're gonna do a confirmation ultrasound, which I've already heard the heartbeat. So my home Doppler, which I can show you guys that. Um, but yeah, now we go find out and see. Yeah. We get to, um, yeah. Hey, we get to go see your little baby bean. 
We could get to go see the little baby. Or find out if there's two. I've been so sick. That's my thought was like, what if there's two? Do you think there's one or two babies? Hmm? One or two babies? In my tummy. One or two? One or two? How many babies? A girl. What? A girl. A girl. What do you think? Ev girl. I think there's only one. No and I think that we don't need any more than one. But if there is more, we'll take it. <laughs> you gonna eat this? Thanks. What do you think? Do we need any more than one? She's like, we need one. You give me a hash brown. Yeah. Don't judge us. Okay, we are here. We're early. That's so good. We're supposed to be early. Um, so actually, I guess we're right on time. And what was I gonna tell you guys? I don't know what I was gonna tell you. I was gonna show you this cute mug that I got um, at church. Our church gave gifts for Mother's Day. So sweet, look. I love it. Strength for the struggle. Tell me this is not the best Mother's Day gift. What do you think? You ready to go see your baby? You ready to go see the baby? In my tummy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on to it. All right, we're getting ready to go in. Basically, like your initial appointment or whatever. This was just a confirmation ultrasound. Which seems just silly because, like, I already knew. Like, we're anyway. So they said we have to come back ASAP for this two-hour appointment, and I'm like, oh my goodness! Like, do we really have to? Because been there, done that. Like, I feel like a, a lot of the stuff that they go over is your medical history and all this, and like they should already have. Like, it hasn't changed. You know, my parents' medical history and my. Um, it really hasn't changed at all and then they just talk about basic stuff so that's what I was already thinking like oh can't we just skip that one and then she was saying that the first hour so then she told me to go watch these videos that are all about pregnancy write down any questions I have because the whole first hour of the appointment they're gonna just discuss these videos that they made discuss my medical history and talk about like Maybe we can do an exchange of Hold on and talk about something. And so I'm like laughing like, I don't, I, this is my sixth baby. I don't need the videos. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like I could watch them. But to have a whole hour long appointment um, that just talks about what to expect from a pregnancy. I'm like, I don't have time for that. You guys know what I'm saying? And the money. We're self paying for this. So like, that's hard. Anyway, but here we are. So let me show you this little bean because they took some pictures. Look at that little sweet. Little bean. That looks like a girl to me. Little bean. John thinks it looks like a girl. What do you guys think? I think they all look like the same, don't they? There's a heart rate. Or do they not? What do you guys think? The heart rate was 170. Okay, are you ready? You ready, see? You know what that is? What's there? What is it? Yeah. You saw it. We got these pictures today of the baby in my tummy. You see? What do you think about that? 
You see the little head and like a belly and little feet sticking up? You think it's what? By these pictures, what do you think? Girl. Are you saying girl because you want a girl or you think it's a girl by the picture? I mean, do you think that? What do you want it to be? Girl. You do? You don't want a brother? Okay. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't. Either but way, what about him? this goes, one, like we're going to have an upset child. Tyler and Jude really want a brother. I think Tyler will be more upset. Don't though. forget Katie and Karen. And what about them? They want it to be a brother. They do? Well, they're not, they're not related to oh, us. Oh yeah, Miss Melissa wants it to be a boy. She oh, said that she's keeping it if it's a bull, little boy. I know, she's, she told me that. Give it to her if it's a boy. I was like, you She's got to refer us to Duke. Doesn't have to, but he's choosing to because our they'll take their insurance. Um, so we don't have to pay for another ultrasound, but she said that they just want to like peak after 12 weeks because sometimes before they did a transabdominal ultrasound and it's like harder to see, you know, 11 weeks they can see, but she said it looked like there could possibly be like a hernia or something like the belly wasn't closed, the skin. Mm -hmm. It looked like it was really thin. They just want to make sure that it closes properly. So what do they do? What does that mean? They, we just have to go back. Uh, we have to go. When Duke calls, they're going to schedule another ultrasound. And they're going to check. So we won't really... What happens if that... I mean, I, is that like a fixable... Something easy? I didn't ask questions. She oh. said, do you have any questions? And I said, you know what? We don't, there's nothing I can do or no without knowing. Like right now it's just, we just want to take another look and make sure. And so for me, that's God is faithful. And when they look next week, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's not, then we can talk about that then. Yeah. That's my position on things like that. There's no sense in spending time worrying about something that might not even be a thing. Sounds good to me. But, say a prayer. 